today provides easy two-tube mastitis treatment administered 12 hours apart. Start by milking out the affected quarter completely. Dip the teats in a germicidal solution, allowing 30 seconds of contact time. Dry the teat of the affected quarter with a clean, dry towel. To ensure your gloves are clean, thoroughly rinse them or put on a new pair of gloves. Swab each affected teat with the alcohol pads provided, using a separate pad for each teat. Allow the teats to air dry. Now twist off the upper portion of the OptiCert cap, being careful not to contaminate the tip. Gently insert the tube tip part of the way into the closest teat canal. A collar on the OptiCert tip prevents you from pushing too far into the teat canal, reducing the risk of introducing new bacteria during treatment. Infuse the entire contents of one tube into each infected quarter working in the opposite direction of how the teats were cleaned. So infuse affected teats closest to you, then the far ones. Withdraw the tube and gently massage the quarter to distribute the suspension into the milk cistern. After dipping the teat in germicidal solution, apply leg bands to identify treated animals and segregate her from the milking herd to prevent accidental milking. Always read the labels to make sure you give the right number of doses at the right time. For today, give two treatments 12 hours apart. Remember, bacterial cure often precedes clinical cure. Resolution of clinical signs generally takes three to five days. Follow all recommended milk withhold and meat withdrawal times. For today, there's a 96-hour milk withhold and four-day meat withdrawal after the last infusion. Because you work with these animals every day, you play a crucial role in protecting their health and well-being. Thanks for putting cattle first.